Hello and welcome to ADHD Customs. In today's video we're going to attempt to try, try and sort out um, a wiring or some of the wiring. I just want to check out the loom on the PD150 conversion that's been done in my car under the dash. Um, I also want to have a look at maybe trying to see if I can get the digital dashes digital dashes, digital cluster to work in the B3 Passat with the PD150 engine. Um, some bloke messaged me on Facebook uh, telling me that I need to get the bright green wire from the ECU wire to work with the rev counter pulse or something. Anyway, I just want to plug them in. I've got the MFA switches I want to try and use as well. So let's just see what happens. Eh? Let's just see what I can figure out. I'm not a wiring expert. I know nothing about car wiring. So um. Let's just see what happens here, shall we? Okay, here we are. Bottom of the dash is off. Um, we have OBD port. We have, what the hell is that? Some button. We have some button under here. We have some taped up wires. I have no idea what they do or where they're for. Um, um, yeah, we've got, what the hell is this? We've got some weird lights down here. No idea what they are. Not a, not the foggiest idea what is going on here. There's stuff everywhere, man. What the hell is all this stuff? Oh, we seem to have a flashing yellow light now. The hell is that all about? Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure I should even touch any of this. <laughs> if I'm honest, what the fuck? Um, yeah, this is how my loom looks. Hmm. Um, I'm not really sure what the hell to do here, if I'm honest. Um, yeah. Yeah, fuck this. No idea what I'm looking at here. Yeah. No idea. Okay, it's all back together. I give up. No idea what the hell I'm looking at. Um, I had this apart. I took this apart and had a look behind here. Found out it's actually this that's broken. This um, dial. I can turn it that way, but then it won't return. The cable pulls, but doesn't push. So this is broken. Um, yeah. The life of a classic daily, eh? Do you like my sticker that I've got over there to cover up the green indicator light that's constantly on? <laughs> uh, still no idea why that doesn't work. I wonder if that has anything to... I'm wondering... In, it's, maybe that's more than it looks bigger than just a clock on this. Maybe that needs the the MFA switches to work. Maybe I don't know. A few moments later. Okay, I thought I would just try the digital dash plugged in to see what happens. Like you said, let's just see what happens, eh? On ignition, on. Nothing's lighting up. Engine starts. No rev counter at all. This, this doesn't even have dials coming on. So, yeah. The displays don't work on this either, so that's gotta be something to do with the wiring in this vehicle. I'm gonna plug in the, the um, I'm gonna plug this in now. I'm gonna see if that makes a difference to dash coming on. Oh, when I turned engine off, everything came on. Ignition, ignition on, it goes off. Ignition off. What? It's gone off. Ignition off. Hang on. What happened there? It all came on. What is going on? Lights on, nothing. That came on then, I saw it. 
I saw it all come on. What the hell? A few moments later. Pretty funny here. I've just noticed all of these wires leading to the dash are white like they should be. But there is one bright green wire going to the dash, to this cluster um, thing, that is the exact colour that they say you should you, you take from the ECU. So I'm wondering if somebody's already done it. That's odd. That's the exact colour wire they reckon has to work the rev counter. But it's not working. Hmm. Something's weird here. Okay. It's all on. It's on. But I have to turn the ignition off for it to come on. Doesn't make any sense. It's come on, now I've turned the ignition off. So if I turn the ignition on. Oh no, I need to do my thing again. So when I put that in. So if I turn the ignition on. It goes off. Ah. Oh. See. This is what I'm talking about with this car. So the clocks work, but only when the ignition's off. This doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Hmm. What is going on? A few moments later. Okay, I've just tried these out uh, with the um, MFA on. There's no actual plug for this anywhere on this vehicle to even plug the multi-function into there's nothing there um, and on my ones on these ones you can, if you click down and up because i fitted a different um relay in there the wiper relay if i click down and up on mine i can change the sp speed the, the the gaps between the um the wipers but this doesn't have a down does it Oh, hang on. No, this only has two settings. This says off, or one, two. So I have no, I'm not gonna have any wiper things and then these don't actually work. This wiper thing doesn't work because I don't have the plug for that. So I'm not sure if this MFA is even gonna do anything apart from make me not have intermittent. If I fit this, I'm not gonna have intermittent wipers. So um, I'm gonna have to go back to fitting the old one. Um, yeah, still can't get this to work, but I don't know what's going on with these digity dashes. Um, they only light up when I turn the ignition off after the engine's been running. So, um, no idea. I have to start the engine, rev it up for a bit, then when I turn it off, that's when they come on. So, um, <laughs> I got a clue, man. A few moments later. Okay, there we have it, all back together took a while to do all that and absolutely not a single thing achieved. <laughs>